This is Artifacts of Mars. And I wanted to discuss something with Catholics. I got news for you. I don't know if you've been following what your Pope has been saying. I'm assuming you have. Uh, whole point here is that your Catholic Pope is actually an atheist. You see him espousing Marxist ideology. He espouses Marx Marxist ideology, uh, wants to destroy the economies of the world, and of course eliminate CO2, which would kill everybody on the planet if they eliminated CO2. But, uh, he's, it's clear to everybody who's watching him that this guy is an atheist, a communist. If he's a communist, then he's an atheist by definition. You can't have it both ways. You can't say, well, he believes in God, but he's also a communist. It doesn't work like that. And communists hate freedom. They hate representative government. They basically demand total allegiance to the state. Which is essentially what this guy is saying, because he wants, you know, all these countries to come down on us, eliminate CO2 from the atmosphere, which would kill us if we didn't have any of that. You can't have it both ways. This guy is a Marxist and a communist, so he is an atheist by definition. I'm very sorry if that upsets you Catholics, but it's the way it is. Now, what do you do about it? Well, that's up to you. I had a brief flirtation before I learned more about this guy. I had a brief flirtation with going Catholic, but that's not going to happen uh, listening to this guy. Absolutely not. Um, uh, Marxist is Marxist, people. If you're really a Bible-believing Christian and a Catholic, you might want to start thinking about finding uh, another venue. I don't know. It's a tough call. Uh, I'm sure there are plenty of atheists uh, in the pulpit in uh, evangelical churches. What, you think all of them actually believe it? I got news for you. You want to buy a bridge in Brooklyn dirt cheap? 50 bucks. It's yours. That's about it. Uh, Catholic Pope is basically a communist and an atheist, and you Catholics have a choice to make. Do you want to maintain your affiliation with this organization, or try a different uh, religious order or something? It's up to you, but if, if you're really a God-fearing Christian, I, it's time you started thinking about saying that's enough of this, and... I don't know, you go to a Lutheran church or something, I don't know. Whatever, but you go to a church that actually believes in God, because if you got an atheist leading Catholic church, it's not going to be long before the whole church is an atheist, Marxist-type situation, like they had in the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union, they had churches... Well, they were there uh, not to worship any deity, but rather the state. That's what's happening here. Well, I'm Artifacts Mars. Um, there you have, there's my suggestion to you. You might want to start dumping this church, because you either dump it or fight back and say, okay, we want this guy out of there. You can't leave a Marxist in there and expect the Catholic Church to mean, 
on teen Christian status. It's not going to happen. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.